Oh no! Okay, so this is our first encounter in real life with Spat. Oh. Oh! 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 Uh, this is not important. We already know about this guy. Anyway. <laughs> that angle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. We just saved our first hamster couple in the last episode, but now we have to deal with the evil spat. And just a, a little romantic ham chat word to start <laughs> us off. Smoochy. <laughs> Love! Uh, oh. oh, it's so ham fisted. <laughs> <laughs> so I know last time. Oh my god, this angle! Isn't that so very cool? immersive? Yeah, where it's like, you know, forget The Witcher. This is all the realistic <laughs> graphics I need. <laughs> so I know in the last episode we were joking about how good these graphics are. So I decided to look up the development team and um. It's just Nintendo shills. I was expecting there to be some cool um, surprise game in there, but it's just like people who helped with Yoshi games. So. Oh, so that's it's, it's cool. kind of the, uh, what would you call it, like the in-house developers for yeah. Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo's like a huge publisher. Right, exactly. Who's also famed for their output. But yeah. Like, okay. Cool. So this is our, our the character foil for spat um she's dressed up like an angel which is very uh, cute okay, so I she's see. gonna be like our consultant um <laughs> i'm not sure how far we're really gonna get in this game <laughs> but at least we have her now to help us Gwendolyn, out the good witch <laughs> <laughs> what a unique hamster yeah <laughs> i didn't quite fall all that <laughs> it's like me at meetings mm. Or this is like, since he's boss hamster, this is like the sales execs. Nice. Or like, um, Elliot, I didn't quite follow all that. Could you explain this hamster to me? <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it'd be cute to maybe talk about romantic things since it's Valentine's Day. Sure. Um, and I don't know, I feel like, like we've told some of our good stories to each other about like interesting dates, but I realized we've never talked about prom <laughs> oh did you okay. go to prom uh yes uh um, <laughs> oh, well okay so when i was uh sophomore all of my friends were invited to the big prom the big prom and i was not all of my friends like my no. guy friends were dates for like Oh, right, because it's, like, junior-senior prom. Right, right. Um, so they, we were sophomores, and uh, and everyone was kind of invited out to that stuff, and I wasn't. Right. Now, I think the reason why was because I was leaving the school, so I had just went out and ended a relationship that I was in with, like... Uh, yeah, who you were dating at the time. Someone older. Yeah, because you moved around there. a lot. Yeah, school, but so. it was still... That's not a good feel. It's uh, not. Oh, I'm I, sorry. I felt uh, <laughs> unloved. But no, I mean, it's fine. That's a long time ago. Um, and then, yeah, I went to whatever the other ones following that in my new school after that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that aspect that you moved around in high yeah. school, so... And then I the was uh, a dating someone younger, so... Oh, yeah. So then I was right. invited to prom after that, that, was that when, when I was were, in college. That was when you were a disgusting man, and you were dating, like, a 15-year-old. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's uh, like Adam Johnson, it's like that soccer player. It's, like, slightly less than our age difference when you think about it. It's actually, uh... It, yeah, 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 that's a good way of thinking. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> disgusting. Disgusting. I like to follow children on Instagram. <laughs> and they just had prom. I uh, know oh, they're probably they gearing had, up like, for prom. They had like winter formal. I have no idea when prom is, but winter formal was a thing in my high school. Um, so I and when I say I follow children, these are kids that I know. I don't just find like random kids on Instagram. Um, so. My little cousin is a freshman in high school, 
and she was like taking pictures with her friends for winter formal. I don't know if that was a thing where you went to school, but ah uh, no. I don't know. I just thought no. it was so funny because they had these like really stylish dresses on. They looked so with it, and I remember, <laughs> um, I remember like trying to find a dress that I didn't feel like an idiot in for winter formal, and I was so awkward. It was like the first formal thing besides like family weddings that I ever had to get dressed up for. Bestest. <laughs> bestest. <laughs> I was yeah. just trying to find the bestest dress. Sure. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what we're trying to do right now, I guess, Spat is around here somewhere, but also... Right, the Sunflower Couple is The Sunflower set. Couple is the not big... set anymore. They, uh, they got in a, a fight and now, um, their heart is broken. Oh my god, so, I missed it. Yeah. Well, that's very anticlimactic. Yeah. It's like that, uh, science study that I like to talk about where they put you in a room full of, like, uh, just a whole chest of legos and they don't really like give you a time limit they're like build <laughs> as much as you want with these legos yeah uh and then uh they they have two after scenarios in one scenario they just like count it up and they're like nice and then in another scenario they uh take apart what you assembled right in front of your face oh and then in each example there's like a stage three where you go and you have the chest of Legos in front of you right, again, and yeah. they like want to see like your output. And for the folks that just had like the fruit of their <laughs> ham ham labor <laughs> unhearted, oh, uh, no. they don't build much. Like yeah. so, like if you just watch the people like pull the um, oh. your Lego creations apart, you're just kind of like oh. Right. You're not interested in doing right. It it's like why even try if um if you just got your your whole project ruined. Yeah. That's so awful. from a, a game design perspective, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that was a little bit uh, maybe not well thought out. Yeah, especially for a oh children's game, this can seem kind of uh, kind of discouraging. Especially because there are only about a half dozen different maps. That <laughs> screens right. have been seen so far. Exactly. I mean, th so there's a lot of other locations, but it takes a long time, honestly, to get to these other locations. It's a little annoying. Probably my favorite one um, is this like amusement park, and there's a haunted house in it. I'm thinking That's I might play. Awesome. I might play that part of the game for Halloween next year. Who knows? Nice. Well, <laughs> this could be like a recurring special every holiday. I'll find an excuse to play this game more ham -ham. for some reason. Um, ham ham heartbreak. Ham -ham when heartbreak. I saw uh, some Pillars of Eternity like dev um, journals, I guess. Uh -huh. I mean, it's kind of like uh, the the commentary, like DVD commentary in films, but you can turn on the dev commentary during a playthrough of Pillars. Oh, that's kind of cool. And uh, one of the things that they said in uh, an early level is they're like, generally you build the majority of the game systems and you, you do the majority of the game, and then you build the beginning of the game. Oh, And you place and you pace okay. out the, like... The kind of tutorial piece and yeah. the reward system and the you know the I can imagine that helps a difficulty lot. Difficulty curve. Yeah, with so I wonder if that's how Nintendo did it back in the day for this one, I or wonder. if they uh, if they built these first six screens as like a capsule. Right, you know? and then they built it from here. Like a because vertical really, slice. Because really, the they... game gets a lot different after you finished um, Sunny Peak, which is the area that we're in right now. I mean, this is just extremely tedious. It's and extremely I'm not even playing, tedious, I know. I'm partially just like floating along the surface. Like, I can't read the dialogue at the speed. I mean, yeah, because I, I mean, I... Uh, I, luckily, I remember this game because honestly, I think the last time I played it was sometime in college, so it really wasn't that long ago. So I'm trying to just get uh, us to a point that's oh. interesting to read. Um, so this. Zippity doodles! <laughs> 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 so this little this guy collects acorns. Um, I was hoping. I know eventually. Spoiler alert. He'll move in this area that he's oh, grounding like around in. Yeah, it's a pathway to go through, and there's like a spa in there. Um, and I'm just. I have no idea where this other hamster is, and it's. The, um, oh, let's see if we can get a different ham chat from this guy. The. Uh, the Call of Duty call-out man. 
<laughs> you mean the Counter Strike call out? The Counter Strike call out, man. Of course. Let's be clear. <laughs> so, oh my God, those moves! Just yeah, it. so cute. Do you skank your leg? So that was less exciting than I thought it would be. Oh well. Just pouring myself a beverage here. <laughs> Yeah, we split this bottle of wine. Um, not a sponsor, but Club W. I love them, and I got some wine just in time for Valentine's Day, but there was still a little glass left, so I can't let that go to waste. And I hate to leave it at this point with this sad little guy, but I think that the reality of Valentine's Day is that we need to appreciate that some of us are really lucky that we have other hamsters to stand on their ears and collect <laughs> sunflower seeds. This is this should be some kind of big metaphor for love and life, but I'm gonna let you guys make the end connection. <laughs> anyway, guys, appreciate your smoochie with your ham hams. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Here's to that.